Saturday night, Thanksgiving weekend. That's where I'm sitting right now. A little more than half a tank. Let's see if we can get this thing down to a quarter of a tank. Hopefully make about 100, 150. I know it's been shitty out there. Last night I went out and made about $16. Um, let's see if we can add about 84 to that tonight. <laughs> My Saturday night started at 7 o'clock, and as soon as I get in the car, this little business thing popped up, talking about, you know, people who used to make six figures, they're now starting to penny pinch. I mean, I've always been a penny pincher. I've always been very frugal. My son used to call me cheap until I explained to him what the word frugal really meant. So now he's like, Dad, you're pretty frugal. I like the way you are. <laughs> it's like, exactly. It's not cheap. We got nice shit, but we pitch pennies to have nice shit. We've always been that way. We don't spend money on brand names and this and that. You know, $80 fucking shoes, $200 shoes. No, we buy $30, $40 shoes. We good, we good. And now he sees why we live okay like that. But yeah, they talking about how, you know, the economy is starting to crack right now. And, and we've been saying this for a while. People need to save up for a rainy day. Get ready for that rainy day. And now the media is finally saying, hey, it's bad news for, you know, Americans in the holiday season and the economy. We've always talked about the economy on my channel. We've always been on the forefront of making sure people had their mind on their fucking money. Get your mind on your money. Think about profits. You got to live on this shit. You got to generate savings. You got to have a nest egg sitting there because the day will come when you will need that shit. Like I tell everybody, the money in my bank is not my money. I'm too deep in debt right now to even call that my money. That's my cushion. That's all it is. It's not my money. It's my cushion. Because when shit gets heavy, I can dig into that cushion a little bit to keep paying the mortgage. I can dig into it to pay my car note, to put gas in the car, to probably help, you know, my son get a haircut and this and that. Like I said, these people are, are way behind. And now they talk about, you know, everybody's seeing drops in sales and, and people earning over a hundred thousand dollars. They've been, you know, raining in their spending. They've not been spending as much. We've always been that way on this channel. I've always had a channel showing people how to do their own repairs. Always showing people how to save money by ordering, you know, in bulk. I get, you know, six oil filters for my BMW. I get six of them for $24. I don't even want to know how much the dealership sells one for. I bet they sell it for like 18 bucks for one. I get six for 24. I've always been that way. I've always done work on my Jeep. Always done work on my Audi, on my Escalade. You got to learn how to fix your own shit. That's how you save money. That's how you retain your profits. Instead of giving your profits away to somebody, you put those profits in that cushion. You keep that cushion growing a little bit and a little bit. And that's why we drive the way we drive. We're generating a cushion by not spending as much. A lot of people, oh, I just keep filling my tank up every day. I fill my tank up every day. I still got 214 miles left on my tank. 214 miles. I got more than half a tank. And the last time I filled up was the other day. Like I said, I can roll three, four days on this. And this is this article is talking about right now, you know, post COVID, all these people, 20% of income have accounted for 45% of all the spending. So that means 20% of the people in this country that have major income account for 45% of the economy in this country. And that's crazy. That's why people's bank accounts are dwindling right now. Nobody can spend money right now. Thrifty behavior has been climbing on the, uh, on the income ladder. Say middle and high income households are still holding on to some excessive savings from the pandemic and they're less willing to spend it. And that's how I am. All the money I've, I've saved, I don't want to spend it because I know that day is going to come when I'm going to have to spend it. That's why we need to be the way we are. Like I said, I'll show you this article and I'm not going to sit there and read it, but you know, you can always pause this video. You can blow the screen up, read it, kind of get an understanding of what I'm saying. But basically what I'm telling you is what I've always told you. And what this article is telling you is what I've always told you. What we've all discussed on this channel, all kind of drivers on this channel discuss this. This is not news to us. This is showing us that they're finally waking up to what we've been talking about, to what we've been saying. We've been saying this and they're finally saying, okay, we need to probably do an article about it. Too fucking late. We've been living like this. We already been living like this. And y'all just now doing an article about it. We've been living like this. Saturday night, the only surge I'm seeing out of the whole city is over at the Mesa Gateway Airport. That's the only surge, and it's six dollars and five seventy-five. This is the rest of the city. This is where I am. Look at that. Ain't no more surge in this entire city. I can zoom in, zoom out. You ain't gonna see no. This is Saturday night, Thanksgiving weekend. Look at that. Even up in Cave Creek, there's nothing up in Cave Creek. There's always something somewhere. It's all we got. Is they're trying to get people to go over to that airport to pick people up, and that's a long drive for me. That's at least thirty miles for me. So I'd have to drive 30 miles away just to get, you know, some surge involved. Shit, it ain't worth it. If that surge was $50, I'd drive over there. If it was 50 bucks, I'd say, okay, it's worth a 30-mile drive, $50 surge. And we used to get those. 
A lot of people in Phoenix knows we used to get those $50 tokens sitting over there all the time on Uber and Lyft. Big ass $50 surge sitting over there. We would shoot over there and pick that shit up so fast, man. All of us would sit right up here where it says that little AZ. We'd sit right up there in that little lot right there. Get $50 tokens all day. Just ride after ride. And you pick people up. You take them down to Queen Creek. You take them right down here to Queen Creek. And you shoot right back up. Get another 50 bucks. You can make two, $300 in a matter of hours just sitting at that airport. That's how it used to be. It used to really be like that. And it, it's sad to say it'll never be like that again because of the influx of drivers we got and the way people are not educated on how to drive. It, it'll be sad. Let's see what kind of opportunities they got. Guaranteed it'll be airport reservations. What do they got? They got a Enrique Iglesias concert. They got the Rams playing tomorrow. Whole bunch of 3050 cent shit going on. I ain't signing up for none of that. It's like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. I know people say, sign up for it. Nah, I ain't worried about it. I'm really not. If they want to get me to drive, they're going to have to pay me to drive. That's all we got. There's a whole bunch of signups. Ton of signups. That's it. Ton of signups. Man, that's crazy. And tonight, Saturday, there are no signups left. It was. It, it probably had them and they're all gone now. So, what if? So let's go over here real quick. Let's go check out Lyft. See what Lyft's got. I said, I'm still sitting in the driveway. I ain't even left my driveway yet. It's like, nope, I'm not moving this car until shit money happens. Come on, you ragamuffins. What you got going? Tempe. That's it. Tempe. I guess I got to go over to Tempe. I hope all the kids are still gone for the holidays. Because if I go to Tempe and pick people up, these are going to be a bunch of short trips. You know, two, three kids at a time. I could do that all night, you know, seven, eight dollars for like two miles. So that's where I'm headed to, Tempe. I'm going to listen to me some music, get out this driveway. I'll hit y'all up in a minute. Be right now, I'm going to come up here and park somewhere. Maybe I'll park at this fucking jack-in-the-box right here. Let's park at this jack-in-the-box. Let these slow motherfuckers walk. Come on, y'all. Get across the damn sidewalk. There's a homeless dude with a little dog over there, like a little baby pit. <laughs> that's what's up. So these are the kind of shit trips they're trying to get me to go. Like 14 miles for $11. So I'm not going up there for no $11. Ain't no surge door on the map again except back down here. They got that 650 sitting down at the Mesa Airport. It's the only surge they got out right now. Nothing else out here. All across the fucking map. Even down to Maricopa, way down here. Nothing. Nothing. What's Casa Grande got? Nothing. This map is blank the fuck out. It is blank. And it's a Saturday night, Thanksgiving weekend. 468. I'm going to go three miles south. Mm, no, nah, let's not do that. I ain't gonna get a tip any fucking ways. I ain't worried about this. Let me turn this shit off. Whoops. Damn it. I meant to turn it off. What the fuck, man? I'm trying to pick up Kate. No, I'm not picking up Kate. I meant to hit off Kate. Sorry about that. My bad. My bad. Let's turn this shit off. Nope, not updating. I still haven't added an update yet. I don't want to add no updates to my phone because I don't know what the fuck the new update's all about. I'm done adding updates so they get the fucking money right. I'm done updating shit to you. Update the fucking salary. They keep asking me every time, want to update your app? Nope, I don't give a fuck. This app, update the money, and then I'll update my app. Because I don't give a fuck about what this app is doing. I, I could care less about what the update is. All it is is a bunch of shit that's going to probably help the passengers out and not help the driver out. So why do I give a fuck about what the update is? I know my city. I know what money look like. Put money in my city, and I'll update this fucking app. Alright, Lyft got some shit jumping right now. Look at that. 1532 to go way up north, almost 23 miles. Nope. And it says I'm in a bonus zone right now, but it said I was in a bonus zone, but it won't give me the bonus. Whatever. It's only a dollar, but it's just a simple fact that uh, 313. I'm not doing no three dollar fucking trip right now. I'm really not. I'm really not. They can take a fucking Waymo or something. I don't know. Three fucking bucks. I don't feel like moving for three dollars. I'm sitting there chilling that jack in the box, kicking back, relaxing. Same fucking thing. Three dollar rides. I'm not. I'm not feeling that shit right now. Put some surge out there. I mean, it's Saturday night. Small fucking you know Thanksgiving weekend. People all over the fucking place, and they don't want to pay people. So it's like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Twelve dollars for that would have stopped. Mm, no, nah, we're cool. We don't want to do that. They can fucking get somebody else to take these rides. Like I said, I'm cool where I'm at. Three dollars, three miles. That's two dollars a mile. Okay, I'll take that. About two dollars a mile, I'll take that. I could do that. And so that's a little bit better. A little bit better. What motherfucker just up the street at Fuzzy Tacos? All right, bet. They got me going around the corner to come that way. I'm just gonna drive straight up and just tell them they gotta walk across the street to get to me. All right, let me go pick these motherfuckers up. The bullshit with this stop. So they got the, the pickup right here, but they're showing the person way up over there. 
on the opposite side of the street. So even if I went here, now they look like they're walking now. So I'm still gonna stop on the other side of the street. But they had them at local Patron at first. So now they look like they're trying to get here. I'm still gonna stop across the street and they can walk across to me because I'm not going to that fucking traffic to get over there. Fuck that. It's, it's too nuts. It's saying Fuzzy Tacos, which is right here. But I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna park over here on the other side. Fuck that shit. You can walk across the street. It was so crazy. So I was uh, bringing them up to their spot. It was, like I said, it was a real quick hop just by the airport. But because I'm by the airport, they it was on like three miles or whatever. I'm by the airport. They kept trying to send me airport rides the whole time. It was like, you know, nine miles for $7. Airport, I'm telling you, my airport, holiday traffic airport. Lyft kept trying to, like, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to try to see if they'll do it again. Come on, cars, let's go. All right, that's $14 for about 22 miles of driving. Nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. That's not good enough for me. All right, now we're going to go forward a little bit. Yeah, but they kept sending me airport rides because I'm right by the air. And we got drivers at the airport, but all the drivers are declining the rides because <laughs> they ain't worth shit. So they're just sitting there waiting on the surge to pop up. But I'm like, you're online. Get offline. There's way too many drivers online at the airport. Get offline. There's some from the airport right there. 936 from the airport. I'm three miles away, and I got to go nine miles. And that's airport, Saturday night airport traffic, Thanksgiving weekend. They're paying about less than a dollar a mile for us to deal with that shit. And you know they're probably charging them people to get out of the airport $40, $45 to go that far. So $45 probably to, to get out of the airport and get up there, but they're willing to give me $9. We had $12 for almost 17 miles right there. $12 for 17 miles of driving. That's way up north. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about, man. These apps, they should have never took Lux off the platform. All these people would have been picked up. We've been on to the next level of life by now. We be doing shit. Picking people up going places, they kick me offline. I don't give a shit just because I don't feel like going back online because they ain't got no surge. It ain't shit going on anyways. I'm gonna go up here and sit at this Circle K up here. Give me a motherfucking crusty dusty. I didn't eat dinner again. I woke up kind of late, got online, chopped it up with a few people, you know, in the comments. And I was like, shit, I'm out the door, man. I'm out. But it's like, I don't have time to be doing all these fucking cheap ass rides. If they would have put these on Lux and been paying us exactly what they what got them to make the hundred and two million dollar windfall they went from 114 million dollar loss to 102 million to 12 million dollar loss that's a 102 million dollar gain right there so they made a 102 million dollar net gain using lux using us lux drivers and shit like that and now they ain't making shit right now because ain't none of us doing it we all looking at this shit like yeah nah we cool on that cool on that shit yeah i just turned uber x on and sure enough they got a a surge right next to me it's right down the street pretty much and that's almost on Washington Street by some apartments over here. Yeah, see luxury apartments right there. So somebody's getting off work because there's some some warehouses on this side, but there's apartments on that side. So if somebody's either getting off work looking for a ride, or I got it on Paw Patrol right now, so they can't get me. But there's no other surge still anywhere in the city other than at the airport. Same thing. Like I said, there's nothing anywhere. The moment I turn this on, I bet they try to give me that a ride right there. What event do they got going on down here? Oh, I don't think it's an event. All right. So I'm going to turn on regular. Let's see what happens. They're going to probably try to give me a ride either from the airport or they're going to try to give me a ride like somebody sitting over here where that $1.50 is. And if it's where the $1.50 is, they're going to try to give me the surge even though I'm not sitting in the surge. Let's see if that happens. Because these apps, boy, they be on some shady shit. Shady shit. Let me go over to Lyft real quick. Let's open up Lyft. Oh, 11 bucks. They gave me a tip. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. $5 tip. That's thank you. Thank you. I needed that five bucks, man. I needed that five bucks. You don't even understand. I needed that five bucks because it's been shitty out here, man. It's been so shitty. Needed that five bucks, man. People, y'all motherfuckers don't realize how, how much $3 can change you. $5 can change you. $10 can change you. Because it, it adds up over time. It adds up over time. It's things that we got to take care of in life. You know, I just bought two sticks of deodorant the other day because I bought a double pack. That shit was like $5.24. I remember when that shit was like $3.68. I'm like, damn, man, deodorant done doubled in price. And this shit is like, man, it's killing us. And all these prices keep going up. So these $3 are adding up. These $5 are adding up. We're doing the best we can do out here, man. We're helping each other out the best we can. We're putting forth good energy. we moving things, man. We're trying to get shit going. Moving people, moving product. But it's like, we need that money, man. We need those little $3 tips, those $5 tips. 
That's what's going to keep us as drivers, you know, really staying out here doing it. These apps ain't paying shit. These greedy motherfuckers are not paying nothing. So right now, riders are the only ones that's taking care of us to that point. Look at this. 20, almost 21 miles for $13. Way the fuck down to Avondale. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's like, ain't nobody trying to do that, man. It's like, and then I got to turn around and come back. So that'll be like 40-something miles for $13 if I don't get a ride back. 40-something dollars for 13 miles. Nobody's trying to do that. Nobody's trying to do that. These apps got money. They're sitting on record profits right now. And I keep saying that shit because until you hammer it on what I'm saying, they are retaining our fares. They're holding back our fares and stealing our tips. They just got busted for stealing tips and fares. $328 million settlement. That was only in one city. Tell me you think they only doing that shit in one city. If they had a policy of fattening their pockets in one city, you don't think they use that same policy in other cities. Of course they did. Why are they still in our money? Look, another airport ride going 10 miles south. Nope. 11 bucks. No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. There's people sitting over there right now. There's people sitting at the airport right now. They could use seven drivers and 14 drivers. Plus, that's just the regular lift. They got people on comfort sitting over there. So you got over 20 drivers. Look at that. Another airport ride for five bucks coming back up to the hotel. Nope, I'm cool on that shit. Let me turn this motherfucker off. I don't want them to keep thinking I'm available. I'm like, cool on that shit. A lot of people say, well, you might get a $5 tip and from airport. I don't, I wouldn't count on it because these motherfuckers are getting charged a lot of money. $5 leaving the airport. That's at least a $30, $35 ride right there. They probably charge them 30 bucks to get out of the airport. And they're going to give me like five bucks. Like, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit because they're retaining our fares and they're doing it in every city. They didn't just have one city in the headquarters of Lyft or the, in the headquarters of Uber saying, we're only going to hammer on New York with this shit. We're just going to put this on New York. No, this was a corporate-wide policy each company had. Each corporation had a company-wide policy on stealing fares, stealing tips, stealing from drivers. This shit didn't just happen in one city. So don't think it only happened in one city. One city stood up. One city stood up. That's about it. But this shit happens in every city, every state. Almost every country that these apps operate in, I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are not to be trusted. I don't trust them. They got money, which is why they got record profits. As drivers, we got to stand up and protect our investments. These fucking cars we sitting in, the fucking deodorant we got to buy, the food and shit, the rent we got to deal with. These are investments of us to live life, to be able to come outside and drive people around. I don't want to drive around without no fucking deodorant on. I don't want to drive around with, with dirty clothes on, so I got to go get laundry detergent, fabric softener, laundry sheets. I got to get that shit so I can be ready for work. This is me working. I got to have clean clothes. If I'm out fucking with my car, you know, I get goddamn tire stain shit all over my car because I'm doing something to my car. I probably can't wear those shorts no more. So those shorts become garage shorts. I got to go get another pair of shorts now. We out here working all day, every day. We need the money that we get for a reason. We're not out here fucking balling out of control. We ain't out here riding around in Lambos and shit like that trying to buy yachts. We just trying to make a living. That's it. We just trying to make a fucking living. Okay, I'm still on Paw Patrol on Uber, but they're opening up surge in different areas. Here's a ride right here, 625. That's where Lyft was just trying to send me down there with their airport ride. So if I would have took that Lyft ride, I would have ended up right down there at the 625. But by the time I get down there, it would have been gone. Trust me, it would have been gone. But they got that opening up. Plus, they got another surge all the way up north where nobody lives for 850. That's way past Happy Valley. They like to do that. I used to operate right here where it says like the one on one loop. I used to be right in that area right there. Because right when you come down like Union Hills, you come across the street right here. There's a bar right there. This little area, that bar where that Circle K is and all that. And right over here, there's a bar right here. Adam's Lounge. So Adam's Lounge used to give me all good rides, and that's far from my house, but I used to sit there and pluck rides from Adam's Lounge back when Surge was good, when rides and quests and all that shit were good, because this is where Adam's Lounge is compared to where I am. That's Adam's Lounge up there. I'm way down here, but I used to actually work up there, and I would take people from Union Hills and the, the little one-on-one -on -one loop to areas like up here. And they give me, you know, $15, $20 for that short ride. It'll be like, you know, eight miles. I get $15, $20, plus I get like a $5 tip, you know, $27. I would do it all the time. Then I would have a quest involved with it. That's when ride share was good back then. That's when ride share was good. Now you don't see me going far from my house ever because I'm never getting a ride back. They used to give me some amazing airport runs in the morning all the way back. They don't do that no more. So I don't deal with that shit too much now. I used to love being up in these areas because, like I said, the people up there, very fucking hospitable. 
tip you all the time. But once they start stealing your tips and all that shit, there's no reason for me to go up there. The apps ain't giving me my tips. They're stealing tips. So it, when they steal from us, they're affecting driver psycholo psychology. They're messing with us knowing that we're not going to get a tip. They're saying that we're going to go up there and, and work you, work you. Once the pastor gets out, the pastor usually tips us on the way in the house or when they get in the house or whatever. The apps don't give us that tip. Therefore, we're thinking the customers are shitheads because they didn't tip us on all that driving we just did. But really, these customers are tipping us what well, they used to. Now the prices and the fares are so fucking high, they don't want to tip us now. And I don't blame them. They shouldn't have to tip us just to get a fucking ride. They're paying enough for the ride. The apps need to come off some of that fucking money. Apps need to be like, listen, man, this mother just paid $24 for this ride. Why are we giving this dude $7? Man, get this dude $14. Give him $16. Why are we giving this dude $7 to go 10 miles? This motherfucker paying $24-something for this ride. These apps need to come off that shit. These people should not have to tip just to get a fucking ride. They already paid well for the ride. Pay the drivers and quit fucking around. Oh, look at that. 550 is now 835. We got 550 at the airport on Uber right now. I'm online, but I'm on Paw Patrol. Let's go open up Lyft and see if Lyft got some at this airport. Like I said, I'm still sitting up by the uh, uh um Circle K right now. I had to get out of the Circle K parking lot. It was just too many homeless motherfuckers walking around. I, it was like they were smoking cigarettes and shit, sitting on the ground. One dude took a shit squat over behind the building. I'm like, man, I got to get the fuck from over here. I had to move. Dude, straight up walking around on a t-shirt on, motherfucker took a shit squat right in the motherfucking bushes behind the damn gas station. I was like, why would you do that? It's like all cars over here, motherfucker. People can see you. I see you, motherfucker. It ain't like you hiding. Motherfucker straight took a shit squat. I'm like, man, that's fucked up. It was like, that's why I had to get away from there. I came across the street to the Federal Credit Union. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna sit over here in this fucking park a lot. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go online real quick. Let me go on a uh, regular Uber to see if they can give me an airport. Maybe they'll give me some surge or whatever. Give me something real short, like over to Tempe real quick for $13. See what they do. Be like, hey, man, we're going to give you a real short hop over here to uh, to ASU. $13. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I'm going to go park right back here. I was sitting in the street over there wiping the car down, but I'm going to pull into this lot right here and kind of chill. Man, Circle K was my spot, man. That was my spot. I can't believe that shit, man. I'm not going to sit there fucking look at a goddamn mountain of shit sitting in front of my car. Dude, he was probably about, you know, 20, 30 feet away. Motherfucker straight up said, I'm going to shit squat right here. Fuck all these people. And his ass straight did it, too. I was like, this raggedy motherfucker. Like, I'm going to sit there and just fucking scout rides with a mountain of fucking camel shit sitting in front of me. Fuck that. Like, I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. Circle K, you got to kick these motherfuckers off your property, man. We, we are a bunch of good-ass drivers. We could be looking out for your property, helping with, like, security or something like that in the meantime. Nah, you got motherfuckers taking donkey shits outside. I'm cool. I need to get the fuck on. I'm moving. Fuck that shit. Let me see how many motherfuckers they got in this queue over here. Probably 30. Oh, they don't even show. They don't even show. That's the cell phone lot. Okay, you can wait in the... That's where I'm going to look right here, cell phone lot. How many you got? Damn! 65 cars over there sitting. Damn! Then, oh, six, up to 65, up to 45, then 30. Man, you got shit. Over 150 motherfucking cars probably sitting between both of these lots. Shit! shit. How many flights you got landed? 64 flights, one, eight, nine? Yeah. I'm going to kick right where the fuck I am. I am not going down there. Sit in that damn queue. Let them pick rides from there for a while. Let them pick rides. Hopefully they'll give me some short shit sending me to downtown from where I'm at. Because I'm not moving. Nope. Not fucking moving. No shit squatters. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers. Let's see what ragamuffins got over here on Lyft. They're probably like, take somebody downtown for six bucks. I'm like, shit. These motherfuckers, they notorious for them old shit rides. I don't believe it's more is less lift drivers in that little lot than it is anything else. Look at that, three drivers over there. Look at that, clear pass downtown for nine dollars, clear down the highway for nine bucks. Man, nope, that's like eighteen dollars an hour. That's like twenty-two minutes. Twenty-two minutes. You multiply that shit times about three. What you gonna get? About twenty-five to twenty-seven dollars an hour right there. That's all you gonna get. It's like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. On a Saturday holiday weekend, no. Nah. What is this? Seven bucks to go eight miles. Nah, I don't drive down there. I'm cool. And that's cutting through the airport and then coming out south. Nah, I'm cool on that. 
And that looked like a little, uh, that was one of those strip clubs down there. They got this little strip club tucked into the spots over there. That's what it looked like. It's like, hey, go down and pick a motherfucker up, take him home. And I'm like, it's 8.30 at night. Somebody's like, I ain't want to dance tonight. It's whack. From the airport, 17 miles north. Uh, nah, I'm cool on that shit. That's about 20 miles for $17. Oh, we could do better than that. Saturday night, holiday weekend. Y'all know how we roll. Let's do this shit. Quit playing games with people. Because they don't want to, they don't want to pay for whatever fucking reason, even though they're getting good holiday money. Because even airlines, everybody's, you know, charging decent right now. Everybody's charging decent, but the pay is not decent. So if you're charging people all this money, you got to justify why you charge people all this money. That $9 to go up to Scottsdale from the airport. Mm, I'm cool on that shit. It's like they probably paid about $35, $40 for that. Now, yeah, we're going to give a driver $9. No, you can keep that $9 shit. You need it more than I do. And these motherfuckers lift is like, man, we losing drivers left and right. What these ragamuffins talking about? $10 to go to Scottsdale. That's almost just as worse. Like, no, I'm cool. It's $15 to go 15 miles north. No, I'm not going way up there for no 15 bucks. I'll go up there for like 25 or 30, but not no 15 we got the airport. Surge still the same. Yep, 550. The surge is still the same. If they ain't, if they ain't paying, we ain't playing. That's just how the, that goes, man. Let's see what these motherfuckers are talking about. That's probably airport, too. Yep, airport, North Scottsdale for $19. This is almost 25 miles for 19 bucks. We cool on that shit. But let's turn Lyft off. Lyft don't have no surge, anyways. So without surge, they're really not doing too well. Let's see what Uber's got coming down the pipe. Oh, they just took away all the surge. Yep, they took away all the surge. Yeah, let's go back on Paw Patrol. Boop, boop. And we'll sit around and wait to see when they're going to throw surge back on the line. Man, like I said, in Paw Patrol, some of the rides ain't that bad. I just don't feel like putting cats and dogs in my car right now. Some of the rides be looking actually decent. It'd be like $11 for like four miles. And I'm like, what if you show up and it's a big ass fucking Great Dane? You're going to be like, God damn, I got played, man. I got play. But you can sit that dog in the floor if you stay in the floor, but he cannot get in my seats. All right, ain't nothing way out there. Because it ain't got no surge nowhere all over town. Yeah, I'm going offline. Yep, nope, update later. Still not willing to update, not willing to update. All right, it's Saturday night. That Enrique Iglesias concert is about to let, let out right now. So you know where I am. I'm on, what, the corner of 1st Street and Van Buren. That's where I am right now. But look at those. All these are black cars. Look at this shit. All these are black SUVs. One just pulled off. All black SUVs lined up. All of them. And then you got my orange ass car all the way in the back. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, if you want to make money, you follow these motherfuckers because they know where they're going. And here's the Tesla right here. He just pulled out, so he's probably got a ride right there. But yep, all black SUVs lined up all the way down the street. And we usually sit right here, right on the corner of Monroe and First. So like I said, we got we take up both sides of the street sometimes. There'll be some black ones lined up here in a minute. And like I said, I used to come in because I was here earlier, but I left. Now I'm sitting over here. Yep. So I was like, shit, they got me in the very back. But that's cool, though, because as soon as this concert let out, shit, surge is going to jump. We take a straight shot down the street and we do all our pickups right down there. Swing back around. Try to do that shit again. I'm looking for all short trips, though. Man, this is going to be a good night, I'm hoping, man, because it's been a shitty-ass Thanksgiving. And it's like, man, it's Saturday night, the the Iglesias concert, they got Pitbull, everybody's down there. So hopefully this shit let out and we make this money. It's La Fiesta. Hey, on Lyft right now, it's got what? $2 surge, $1.75 surge down here. And this is where the concert is letting out, right down the street. So I'm just waiting for everything to kind of jump off right now. I'm not even turning on Lyft because I know the moment I get it, they're going to give me some shitty rides. But Uber, I got them on Paw Patrol right now. It's not surging down here just yet. You got the big $4 signs to let you know it's going to be some really big money down here. Yeah, the $3 signs everywhere else. When you got the triple dollar signs, that's basic shit. But once you get up to the $4 signs, yeah, that's when you know, okay, these people are paying some pretty high fares to get up out of here. So I'm going to sit by the $4 signs and see what else we can come up with. Let's see something. Yeah, we got another black SUV just pulled up. Like I said, they, they're coming from everywhere right now. Everybody's coming out to make money right now. 
Uh oh, we got more SUVs coming out. Check this shit out. And so now we got these SUVs coming up right here. They just pulled up right there. So those two SUVs just pulled up and everybody's starting to get packed up in here. There's probably be some more pulling up behind me in a second. But yeah, it's about, I, hopefully this concert gives us some money, you know what I'm saying? Because we've had a very, very shitty, you know, Thanksgiving weekend. This has been nuts, nuts. Just no pay, low pay, everything else, man. We gotta get this money, we gotta get going. Somebody just pulled up right behind me. Let me see, you can see. Right there behind me. Oh, you can't really see, there's his headlight, but yeah, he's sitting behind me right now. But yeah, so I'm waiting to see what they up to. Uh, garbage trips already. All these trips is garbage right now. Coming down. Yo. What? Hold up. What's good, brother? I'm a subscriber, dude. Oh, what's good? <laughs> what's up, bro? What's up? I was like, oh, I, man. I, I saw your car and I was like... Yeah, I just saw you pull up. Yeah, I just saw you pull up behind me. Look at all the black SUVs. Yeah, I follow y'all all the time, man. I was telling my, I was telling my wife. See, this is Jeff. Uh, I know it's his car. I saw him over there, but he's inside his car now. And she was like, "Go tell him that you're a subscriber. He likes it." I don't know if he's gonna find it strange, but he's no, like, man, it's all good, brother. Like, usually, I'm at the gas station or something like that. People run up like, "Hey, Uber Jeep." I'm like, "Yeah." Man. <laughs> Yeah, that's what's up man oh thanks brother thanks brother man i appreciate it but i tell people as a driver community man there's not a lot of industries out there that want to stick together like that so we got to stick together man we got to do something to get these rates back up but i, I, I got my first ride today on home you know my first ride what time was, was it the daytime because they said they don't do it at night they're more days I just got one one mile for six bucks that's my first ride. I told her, you're my first ride. She's like, you're my first guy. Like, okay. Oh, man. I got to turn Hum on because, like I said, I'll, I use Hum, but I'll try to do it at night, and they don't have night dispatch. Yeah. So I had to do it in the daytime, man. Yeah, but I'm, I'm holding a $5 surge, but it's no good here. I don't know what. Yeah, going. man. Surging down here, like I said, I got lift on right I, now. I got ribs on, too. Nothing nothing so far on this one. Nope, nope. I made 11 bucks so far. I've been out since, like, probably what time is 11? Yeah, so I came out about 7-something just to kind of putz around for a little bit. Right. Only got 11 bucks. It's right. like... It is just garbage today, man. Damn holidays, man. They're not paying us, man. They're not paying us. We gotta pay for these cars. We need six and a six and a half of a <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told people, it's like, dude, we get to chatting and laughing and shit, and I don't even see how much time be passing. I'm like, holy shit, six hours. <laughs> like, let me you get it. Recording? Was that? You recording or something? Yeah, it was still recording, yeah. Oh, okay. It's still on there recording now. Oh, right. But it's like, ah. Yeah, man. It's too slow, exactly, man. We got to figure out something, man. We got to get some money. Like yeah, they said the Iglesias concert was down the street, yeah, they said. Iglesias and Pitbull. Yeah, yeah, Pitbull, yeah. So I just sent uh, King James a message, and I told him, I said, hey, man. Do you, we got the concert downtown. Hopefully it'll start surging so we can get some money. But yeah. if it don't start surging, shh, man, I'm just going to go home, call it a night, yeah, man. But, but what you said is right. I, I, I checked the passenger app. They're, they're giving all these bonuses to riders, taking from our money. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, man. Because I'm sitting there like, okay, yo, y'all want to sit up there and act like the, the corporation is being nice. But it's not. It's the drivers you're taking out of our pockets. Right. It's like, why don't you just pay us and quit? Like, they just try to give me a 20-something mile ride way down the highway for like $13. I'm like, dude. And I got to come back. I live south of the airport. I'm like, dude, I got to come all the way back. Like, no, nah, man, I don't trust that. Nope, nope. Because then you get out there and you think, oh, man, I'm going to be nice and maybe they'll give me a ride back. They have you out there all night. Just doing nothing, doing circles and shit in parking lots. You'd be like, man, I got to get out of here. <laughs> no, that's funny shit, man. Good to finally see you, man. Oh, thanks, brother. Hey, nice to meet you, Joe, yeah. man. Like I said, you got to make sure you jump in on the comments on the live streams or something like that, man. Because we're going we gonna to keep doing it, man. We're going to keep pushing for Phoenix, no, man. We no, gotta... That's good. That's also a good income for you, slowly. You know, it'll be, you'll build your clients. Oh, yeah, also, yeah, over time. And like I said, I told people, at some point, I'm going I'm to have to just... I don't do newscasts, and I'm like, I could do podcasts, you know. I think I could do podcasts, and that shit will be fun. You're, you're good at what you're doing. I see your sub. I think I started subscribing to you when you were like 1.1 or something, 1.1k. Damn. Yeah, so you've yeah. like 5,000 since. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's been going crazy, man. And I'm glad that people are actually like, you know, tuning in and listening and helping, you know, us build this ride share community, man. Because like I said, it's too many of those challenges out there was competing, making everybody compete against each other. Yeah. I'm like, man, we got to sit down and eat with each other, not compete against each other man it's like we got to fight these apps these apps is our enemies man they sitting there running us out man it's just irritating the hell out of me I, man i like the right of home but what i didn't like is when i got the right right yeah it took me to another uh, google maps 
it took me to a different app, Google Maps, to go pick her up. They don't have their own map. Oh. So that way it sucks. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, if we know the city pretty well, if we know the city, and somebody tell me, you know, I got to go downtown to the Sheridan, I know where that is. Yeah. So you just tell me where you're going, I'll find it. <laughs> but if it's to somebody's house, yeah, I'm going to need a good map. One of have me going on the wrong streets, down alleys and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. This car should be on, uh, should be on Lux or Lux, whatever, man. Man, for real, because I'm like, dude, they be sending me $3.06 rides. This is an M performance too, right? Yep, yep, yep. So this is the 330i, but they put the M package on it, so it's got all the M stuff. Where you can like turn the radio up by hand. Look, another car coming up. He's about to get ready to work too. Everybody waiting on this concert to let out, man. That's what we all doing right now. Man. My, my car lights are too bright, so I was like, nah, I'm not going to wait here. And yeah, because what is that? Is that a Tesla? Yeah, it is. A the Model Y? Yeah. yeah, man, that shit was bright. I was like, damn, who is this pulling up behind me, Joe? <laughs> yeah, see, everybody's trying to line up, man. We getting ready for this damn concert. Hopefully, it lets out, man, and, and we get some good surge building up. Shit, if everybody leave this motherfucker tonight with a $30, $40 ride, I'll be happy. <laughs> everybody get $30, $40, bucks, we will be happy because it's been garbage, man. Straight uh, garbage. Man, man, man. man. All right, Jeff. All right, Joe, man. It was nice meeting yeah, you, brother. Him, hey, see, man. Cool, cool. Hit me up. Be like, Jeff, it's Joe with the, with the Model Y. What's good? Hell yeah. All right, brother. You be easy, man. Oh, yeah, we got some cool-ass drivers out here. Man, it is so many cars in front of me now. Hold on, let me show you this shit. Everybody's coming over here now. Look at that. Now we got all cars in front of me now. We got, a, what, a Mercedes. We got a, a, a Cadillac right in front of him. I think that's an XT6 or something like that. Man, everybody's. And then behind me, we got the black Model Y. Everybody around me is a black car except me. <laughs> I got the big fucking great pumpkin up in this motherfucker. Yeah, but shoot. See what Uber's talking about. Uber ain't got no surge either. Where we at? That's Apache Junction. Yep, nothing downtown so far. Man. And it's saying, you know, 10 to 11 is when it's supposed to be starting to jump, but I don't see nothing down there. That was cool. You know, Joe came up, started hollering at me. That That's a cool dude right there, man. And so hopefully he gets some money tonight, Joe. If you listen to man, get you some money. He's like, you be in them six and a half hour live stream. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we be having too much fun, man, too much fun. But when it's time to go out and get this money, man, I got to be out. All right, let me see what let me see what Lyft's going to offer me. Let's see what Lyft's going to offer. Probably nothing. With a $2 bonus, man, probably get nothing with that, nothing. $4 for that. Ooh, I'm going to take that. I'll take that. All right, bet, bet, let's go. It's right down the street. Four bucks. All right, let's go. I'm going to do this little quick trip real quick. All right, Joe, I'll see you, brother. Yeah, I'm going to go down here real quick, pick up this little $4 for one mile, then so I can, if I can get back and make some money. But, yeah, whatever it takes, you know what I'm saying? We got to be out here. And just the concert ain't letting out nothing right now. It's cool because I'll come back. I'll get my spot right back in front of Joe. Hopefully, if, if Joe pulls up, then I'll just pull up behind him, and I'll be there when I get back. But this is something to be real quick. Oops. Seat belt, seat belt. My bad, my bad. Okay, cross you from the brew pub. There you go, brother. I see you. I see you. I'm right here. Real quick rides, you know what I'm saying? I was, I had to pick up a, a drop. Some people off that was downtown gave me a one dollar tip. They didn't give me no one dollar tip. I bet they gave me like a five ten dollar tip. Motherfucker lift them out some one dollar. Oh raggedy motherfuckers. I'm out some one dollar tip. They know damn one ain't tip me no one fucking dollar. Them people probably tip me five bucks. Then I just did this real quick. That was a security guard coming to work. So I picked him up, brought him back to work real quick. Not bad. And it was funny because I pulled into the parking lot and the other security guard was already working. So the security guard came walking up to the car like he was about to be like, hey, man, you can't be in this lot. So I, I pulled up and I let the back window down so Dennis can chat with him. He was like, what's good, bro? He was like, oh, man. I was like, see, he was ready to do his job. He was finna kick me out the park. <laughs> he was ready to kick me out the parking lot. I was like, his ass was on it, boy. I pulled up and he started walking toward the car quick as a motherfucker. He was about like, hey man, you can't be in this parking lot. They had cones and everything in the way. He was about to get by as I pulled up. I let the back passenger window down so Dennis can talk to him. He was like, hey, what's up, man? He was like, oh man. <laughs> he was like, oh man, this is a nice car, man. How much you pay for this? I was like, oh man, shit. Now these cars are going for like 25 grand right now, man. This car is not, it don't cost that much no more. Like what I paid for it two years ago, I can get like a huge discount right now, man. It's like, but yeah, that dude, he was pretty cool, man. 
I can't believe Lyft gave me a $1 tip. And the $1 tip was actually from a girl who was driving a BMW X3. So we was talking about her BMW and you know, her, she had a 328 and stuff like that back. She ended up blowing the speakers in it when telling me like funny stories about it. And then I get a $1 tip. I guarantee they did not tip me no $1. I was showing her the radio, how the radio works. She was like, oh shit, that's crazy. And I'm like, man, live to give me a fucking $1 tip on that ride. To give me a $1, because I already had a, a $2 surge. I guarantee she probably tipped me five bucks. And they was like, well, since you already got a bonus on it, just tip them $1 and we'll keep the rest. I bet that's the kind of shit they be pulling. So I don't fuck with Lyft. Lyft be on some other shit. I don't fuck with them. But let me see what Uber's got going. And man, it's almost 11 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? The concert should be letting out. I don't know why they haven't put surge up on Uber yet. They have not thrown surge up. And I'm waiting. I'm like, dude, where's the surge at around here? They're like, we don't got none, motherfucker. We don't got none. And this dude with the big old party bike driving around. All right. I'm almost up to where I was earlier, back where Joe was chilling. So I'm going to cruise up here. Like I said, it ain't it ain't no money out right now. I don't know where everybody's, you know, getting right. All them SUVs are still sitting there. They all still sitting there. It's crazy shit, man. We sitting there trying to make money, and, and these motherfuckers ain't paying us nothing right now. It's like, jeez. Oh, yeah, they got all SUVs over here now. It's all SUVs. Holy shit. It's like a fucking parking lot full of them. Damn. All right, I'm about to U-turn it and go back over here to, to do this shit. Yeah, it's a whole lot over here now. All SUVs. Damn. So I could hook one of those rides here and there. I'm just not trying to do those. Because I already know already they're going to have me going out too far. I just feel it. I just feel it. So let's see what they're going to say. All right. Hold up for a $17 ride. Woo! I bet that right there is probably about 25 miles. Somebody took it. Somebody took that shit quick. It was like, oh, I'm going to take that. $10 ride. Somebody going to take that real quick, too. 10 bucks. Oh, that was probably the one that, that they just tried to give me. 10 bucks to go that far south. Nah. Cool on that shit. All right, let's go look back on Uber again. Man, knew I was going to do that shit. $7 for now. I'm cool on that shit. I'm not. That's cool, too close to five miles away. Too close to five miles. And they probably walking down the street. That was the exact same ride. I bet they're walking down the street closer and closer, trying to see if they can get a ride. And everybody's like, nope. Well, another SUV just pulled up behind me. <laughs> Tell you what, we all over here right now. We trying to get it, trying to get it. Hopefully, shit. I'm go back to Uber real quick. Every time I open Uber, that's what they do. They know my, they know my app. $10 for 10 miles? No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. They were like, he's got Uber open. Let's go to Uber X. See what kind of bullshit they got coming down the pipe. Probably some junk. $28. Damn, for 24 miles? No, that's way too far out. It's way too far. Let's see what they got over here. $14, 12 miles? Nope, not that. We got $3.52? Nope, not doing no 352 rides. Let's go back over here real quick. 11 for 12, 13 miles. Nope, don't want that either. Yeah, Uber don't even have surge right now. Let's turn Uber back off. Yeah, that was a $23 ride for probably fucking 50 miles. Who knows? I ain't worried about Uber right now. Yeah, they got $20 rides, $13 rides. The concert is letting out. It's letting out. And we all sitting over here chilling right now, waiting on this money to start stacking. If the money ain't there, we ain't there. I've made 24 bucks tonight so far. 24, I'm not updating yet. Yep, the concert's let out. Nope, same one, that's the exact same one. $8 for four miles, that's, they keep giving me the same ride over and over again. And I keep turning it, that's not enough. If I'm going five miles up, you know, it give me like 10, $15 or something like that. I mean, we know we know the, the good tips ain't there. These little $1, $2, that's cool and I appreciate it, but I know these people ain't tipping me that. They gotta be tipping me at least five bucks. This is a really nice car. They're tipping me at least five bucks and I'm getting $1 tips, $2 tips. So I'm like, no, nah, for that price, you could just take any other fucking car. It's like, and Lyft need to know that shit. These motherfuckers didn't wanna pay us because we're Lux drivers making good money. They wanna try to keep us broke. 
Oh, man, we ain't going to pay them. We're paying them too much. These drivers are making too much. We got to keep some of that money. Okay. Do that shit if you want to. Yeah, $11 for 10. I think they sent me that one already, too. Seven, eight, that? No, hell no. That's way too far out. Give me something going down to Baseline Mill, Southern and Mill. 15 bucks, I'll take it. They probably won't give me 15 because you can see all these rides are looking shitty. Where are we at right now? I'm right there, and they are looking at 7th. Man, all these rides are, like, all over the place. Garbage rides. South. Oh, you got to get past Jefferson? Oh, hell yeah. Them, them rides, ain't nobody getting those. That's past the event. That's past, hey, ain't nobody going down there. Nope. That ride 20 is probably about 26 miles. Let's see. 30 something. Damn, 31 miles for 20 bucks to go all the way down to Chandler. 31 miles. That is fucking crazy. And that's leaving a concert. And so you know they probably charge them people like fucking $100 to get home. This is a concert going on right now. This is a big ass concert. They probably charge the people 100 bucks to get home, but they're going to give a driver $20. That's an $80 fucking flip. I guarantee these people are like, man, I can't get a ride home. Well, for thirty-one, for $20 to go 31 miles, not a lot of people are doing that. Nobody wants to do that. It's way too far. Let's see what UberX is talking about. Let's see what UberX is on. These motherfuckers probably give me some, some cheap shit. $10 to go like six miles. Mm. Oh, I don't want to go up there. I don't want to go up there. I'll take $8 for three miles though. 11 for 15 miles. Nope. Don't want to go up there either. Give me some three, four miles, seven, eight dollars. I'll take it. Three, four miles, seven, eight bucks. Not even four miles. Let's go three miles. No. You're crazy. You're crazy. No. <laughs> Ain't nobody. 467. They won't surge for shit down here. They will not surge for nothing. All these rides are hit. They're trying to get drivers to drive for dirt cheap, even though they're charging people surge pricing right now. What do we got over here? $9 for six miles? Nope, not going down there. What do we got over here? $13 for 10 miles? Nope, not doing that one either. Man, these people are straight tripping tonight. What do we got? $12 to 12 miles to go to Scottsdale? Nope. Give me like 20 bucks, I'll go. What do we got over here? $13 for nine miles? Ooh, that's by my house. Let's take it. I'm going home. Fuck that. $13 to go home, I'm going to take it and call it a night. Let's get offline. Yeah, because I ain't got shit out here anyway, so I'm going to take this ride and I'm going home. Uh, fuck. Where is he at? Oh, shit. He's on fucking Jefferson. Are you serious? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit. No. He's on Jefferson. Sorry, bro. I, I'm not going down there. Yeah, I don't, I'll do something that's north of me. I'm not going south of me. Fuck that. And that was right by my house, too. That was cool. Damn, $10 for 17 miles? No. Because I could have did that ride and just went home for the night and called it good. But... Yeah, not on Washington Jefferson. I don't do pickups on Washington Jefferson. Uh, nope. Fifteen dollars for eighteen, nineteen miles. No, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. Yeah, if y I'm telling you, riders, if you motherfuckers want rides, if y'all really want good rides, get off of Jefferson, get off of Washington, cause ain't nobody going down there. I'm not risking getting a ticket to picking somebody up on the street. Mm, nope, not that either. You know what? Uber's done already. Let's get off of Uber. They're done already. Let's go back to Lyft. Let's see what Lyft's got. Yeah, because don't, don't nobody do pickups on those busy streets. We just don't do it. Because the cops won't let you do it. They're, they're, you know, threatening to issue tickets and all of that shit. It's just not even worth it. When I see a pickup on Washington Jefferson, I just, I go the opposite direction. $18 for like 21 miles? Nope. Especially in the wrong direction? Nope. Let's see what they got over here. $8 for five miles? Mm, Washington, definitely not. Anything on Washington, I'm not fucking touching. Washington and Jefferson, I stay away from. What was that Garfield going down Levine? For nah, I'm cool. It's about a dollar a mile. Nope, nope, we're not doing that. Uh, twenty miles for twelve dollars? Nope, we're not doing that. They just did a twelve mile for twelve dollars. Only gave me a nineteen mile for twelve dollars. Man, forget that shit. Keep that to yourself. 
they give me something going back over towards, you know, Tempe, I'll take it. But it can't be on Washington for the pickup. That's the only thing. It has to be on like Monroe for the pickup, Adams for the pickup, something like that. If it's on Washington or Jefferson, I'm not picking up. Nope. Fucking stand up because that shit is heavy traffic, a million cars, police trying to issue you tickets for picking people up on a busy street. It's not even worth it. And a lot of riders don't know that. And I think the police don't tell riders that because the police make money on ignorance. If a driver is stupid enough to pick up somebody on Washington or Jefferson and get a ticket, that's on them. The police ain't going to tell you that. That's taking money from them. To educate riders is going gonna, is gonna to hurt their own pockets. So they go, no, no, come on over. Try to pick up somebody on Washington Jefferson. Just try. They're going to put them mountain bikes around your shit, block you the fuck in, and issue you a ticket. And guess what your rider going to do? Well, we're going to just have to get another ride. Can you just cancel this ride? We got to get another ride. So you got a ticket for nothing. Ticket for nothing. That's why I don't pick up over there. I've seen that shit happen too many times. I don't. You get a ticket for absolutely nothing. You don't even get the ride. So you don't get the ride. You get the fucking ticket. And now you're in the fucking hole, pissed off, going home, mad. Shit ain't even fucking worth it. I haven't been able to do Uber because I end up back down in Tempe. I got nothing at the concert. Not a single ride from that concert. Nothing. And now this is what they're trying to do right now. Send me bullshit rides. I'm going to go around this corner down here. I was going to try to go backwards. I'm going to go straight. Oh, trying to go four miles south. I'm not trying to go that far. No, I'm cool on that shit. So I'm trying to stay, you know, two, three miles in the area where I'm at right now. I don't want to go too far out. Cause then that means I gotta whip around and come all the way back. So definitely not no 15 miles for no six, fifteen dollars for 16 miles. Definitely not that. It's way too far out. Way too far out. So let me see if I can turn back around. Cause actually I'm doing nothing but a bunch of quick short hops right now. Normally I'd be at ten dollars a trip, seventy bucks. I'm sitting at fifty six. No, eleven dollars for like almost ten miles. No, I'm not trying to go that far. And it's got a multiple stops. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Lyft is trying their best not to give me no rides. They're trying they're trying their best not to give me short rides. They keep trying to give me nature hikes all the time. And like they end up working me up towards Scottsdale. You're gonna see in some of my rides when I show you in a second. Right now I'm not showing you rides because I'm driving. I got cars and shit behind me. So I'm not trying to do this. Let's do that one. Six dollars for about two miles total. I could do that. So I'm gonna go up here and pick these people up. They show me where I'm going. Yeah, and then I'll cruise over that Zip Sports Grill. All right, I know how to get there. So we're going to go to Zips the back way instead of going the front way. Because they got me going down university. I don't want to go down university because it's going to be too hard to get there. So I'm going to go straight, get down there, pick them up, make this quick six bucks, call it good. Like I said, I'm looking for anything two, three dollars a mile. That's what I'm looking for all night. All short shit. I don't want nothing long, no dollar a mile, shit, none of that. So you got to work hard. You got to work hard at this math because if you just start taking what they give you because you break down, you get tired of fucking declining shit. Don't get tired of declining shit. Make them pay up. You got to work hard at it. Just keep keep at it. Keep at that fucking math. Two dollars a mile, three dollars a mile. Keep working at it. At some point, they're going to get tired of not making money and they're going to say, we need to work these drivers because these drivers are just sitting around in park lots and shit not taking no rides. We got to get money. They're going to break down and start realizing we're not breaking. Once we start breaking, they know they got us. Stay up. I've been pushing all night, two, three dollars a mile, two, three dollars a mile, not breaking, doing this one dollar a mile shit. No nature hikes, none of that. Keep sticking with it. That's how we're going to make this shit work. All right, this is another one of those fucking pickups where the person ain't near the pickup. I'm sitting right next to Zips where they set the pickup for. And I already sent him a message already, so I got my hazards flashing by Zips. So hopefully he brings his ass around. See, there it is. I said, I got my hazard flashing by Zips. So if you hurry up and get to that around here, you can get a ride. But like I said, I'm tired of this shit, man. I can't stand it. This, I hate that with a fucking pet peeve. It says coming. Okay, cool. Hate that with a pet peeve. When motherfuckers set a pickup and don't be at the pickup that they set. The clock for us don't start till we get to the pickup that you set. So if we don't go to the pickup you set, we don't get a cancellation fee. We don't get the fucking timer to start. Nothing happens till we hit the pickup. So you riders got to figure that shit out. Get to these fucking pickups. If that's not the pickup you want, change that shit to where you are. If you can't change to where you are, cancel the fucking ride and reset it to where you are. Like I said, you, you guys got to do this shit the smarter way. That was a real quick trip. Now they're trying to send me these fucking things right here. More nature hikes. About nine miles for ten bucks. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to stay in the area I'm in right now. I'm trying to plug. A lot of people are out right now. And these rides, if I could do six dollars for two miles all the time, I'd do this shit. Something like that. 
you know, six dollars, about three miles, two dollars a mile. Ah, fuck it, let's do it. All right, let's see where we going. We're gonna go pick up somebody real quick. Oh, let me turn this corner here. Yeah, because they keep giving me these little short hops. I mean, shit, I'll keep taking them all fucking night. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta curve down Farmer Avenue, go over to Casey Oysters. All right, I'll see where I'm at. Go over to the little oyster grill place over there, pick them up, get them down fucking university a little bit. Shit. Hey, I got a tip, $5, appreciate that shit. And that was on that little short trip I just did, man, that little $6, appreciate it, appreciate I know it was them, because the dude was like, oh man, I love this car. The girl was like, this is a Mercedes. I was like, no, it's actually a Beamer. She was like, no, this is a Mercedes. I was like, no, like, this is way too nice to be a BMW. <laughs> I was like, nope, this is a BMW, real shit. It's a 330i. She's like, wow, I've never seen it inside of a BMW like this. My cousin has a BMW. It don't look like this. I was like, yeah, this is in like a 19. It's kind of upgraded a little bit. So then, then his homeboy was like, yeah, tip the man. Make sure you tip the man for this nice car. Tip the man. So that was the five bucks right there. He said, well, you got my phone. He says, well, shit. He's because Ryan was the one who got the ride, but his buddy had his phone. He was like, well, you got my phone. He says, well, shit, here, take your phone. So he took it and they was walking off and he was trying to go through it to tip me and shit. So I appreciate that, Brian. Real shit, brother. He was like, man, I'm a Tennessee Volunteers fan. So you know I love the color of this car. <laughs> Orange. Got you, brother. Got you. Like I said, some of these kids, man, they all right, man. You know, we come down here, we try to do these little short tips with the trips. No fucking nature hikes. Stay battling against these apps. You may not win every day. Like I said, I got my ass kicked on Friday. I made $16 on Friday. Thanksgiving Friday, I made $16 fucking dollars. You're not going to win every day. Today, I'm doing a lot better than what I did. I've already made about over two or three times more than what I made yesterday. I killed the $16 total already. But that's what it's going to take sometime. You just to say, fuck that. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to stay fighting you motherfuckers. And I'm going to stay declining nature hikes. You're not going to break me. I'm not doing no $20 for no 40 miles. You're not going to break me. Stick with the plan. Keep doing what you got to do. It's got to pay off at some point. Shit ain't supposed to be easy. Ain't nothing worth having going to be easy. If you got to work for it, that means you earned it. And we trying to earn this motherfucking money, but we going to make them earn the use of our fucking vehicles too. You don't just freely get to use my vehicle because you threw me a fucking offer. No, make that offer count or I'm going to decline that shit. That's just how the game works. All right, where we at? 73 bucks so far. Man, I might be able to hit 100 bucks. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm still out here cruising, picking up kids and shit. A lot of short trips, a lot of short trips. But hopefully I can get back down here and do some more. They keep trying to give me these long-ass nature hikes. I had to turn my shit off the last ride. Is that 8 bucks for what? No, no, that's almost 7, 8 miles. So I got to go way out to, Tem to Tempe to pick somebody to bring them all the way back to back. I'm not doing that for no 8 bucks. I gotta come better than that. Give me some tips or something, man. I'm short right now. Where are we at? Nine dollars for that? No, I'm not going way up there either. That's nine dollars for nine miles. No, I'm cool. Cool on that shit. I'm headed back down towards ASU. Because I'm in a 225 bonus, so it's really the same thing I'm gonna get. I'll take that though. That's about three miles, but I'm about to go in the wrong damn direction. You know what? Let's do this shit. I'm gonna go down here like this and I'm gonna fucking U-turn real quick like this. Like, whoo. they like, damn, that dude just did that shit. Yep, fucking U-turn like crazy. I can One drive this little added for this ride. A little bit Holly Village, whatever. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan, Frank. Mesa right now, not near Tempe, so I gotta kind of get my way back over that way. I mean, I could go on my own gas or I could sit here and try to come up with a ride that's going to send me back that way for at least six bucks. If I get a ride for six bucks going back to Tempe, I'll take it. Because I'm not too far anyways. But, you know, if they start trying to send me south or fucking north or... Nah, I'm not doing that. Especially east. East, it ain't shit out there. Like, this is far east, way out here. You're going to get like one surge and be done for the night. Downtown, they still got a little bit going on down there. But nothing really worth, you know, driving out there for. So hopefully, you know, they come up with something for the night. Because right now, like I said, they got all these twos all over town. I'm not really trying to do Uber right now. Let me show you what Uber's got. Lyft's not sending me nothing until I start up Uber. Once I start Uber up, Lyft will try to send me something. So. All right. I'll just put on UberX. I was on UberX right now. Let's see if they'll send me something over that way, too. Anything sends me to Tempe. Oh. Now let's take that. I mean, I'm, I'm going that way anyways. 
it's just four bucks. It's like, what if? Gotta go pick up Mia. So I'm headed that way anyways. Let me turn off this. Now I can go over there and pick them up because I was waiting. I was wanting six bucks. I'll do four. I gotta go that way anyways. And it's not really taking me as far into Tempe as I thought it would be, but it's good enough. So let's do that. Let's try that real quick. Pick up Mia. I'll be back in Tempe. Turn the apps off. Hope that I get some surge going. Crank this shit back up. Then we can start driving again. Let's listen to some music. Left all night, but now I'm on Uber. So let's take that. It's almost two dollars a mile right there. Gotta go up, pick up. Who is this? Tiana. All right. I was just chilling right now. I'm taking a little break. Let's get ready to rock and roll. I'll show y'all my lift numbers in a second. Like I said, I haven't really been looking at the numbers tonight because I'm tired of seeing the fucking heinous bullshit. That's basically what it is. I'm done looking at that shit because it's disgusting how it's Saturday, fucking holiday goddamn weekend, and we sitting here fucking plucking goddamn seven and eight dollar rides. It ain't like no $24 for like seven miles. It ain't no, you know, good ass bangers and shit like that. It's a bunch of bullshit out there right now. And anybody who's been a driver for any more, a point of time knows that, you know, on holidays, especially Saturdays and Sundays, we usually got a lot of good fucking surge out, a lot of good rides out. Even with the surge, this shit is like garbage, garbage. I was just recording. I, then I, you know, I did a couple of quick little rides or whatever when I was over by ASU. A couple of guys, you know, leaving work and going home, leaving home, going to work. Simple shit like that. Wasn't even worth recording, but I mean, I'll show all that shit in a minute. Because it's just, you know, I've been just listening to music, trying to stay in my fucking zone. So I'm like, man, this shit is hard. But, you know, I've been going on YouTube, answering, you know, replies back and forth. Anything other than fucking, you know, recording this goddamn garbage right now. Because this shit is, is heinous. It's fucking heinous. To sit here and, and to realize that this is a holiday weekend. We should be doing shit with our families. Like a lot of drivers said, fuck it, I'm going to do shit with my family. I don't blame you. For real, I don't. I can guarantee you if my son was here, if my son wasn't down in fucking Florida, or me and him, we'd have been, we'd have probably took a Jeep trip some fucking where this weekend. We'd have been in the fucking Jeep, probably sitting up in Vegas, riding around seeing old friends and shit. Real shit. Because this was not even worth fucking standing around to work for. It wasn't. Fucking sixteen dollars on a Friday. Tonight I'm I'm just at a hundred bucks right now. It's one fifty in the morning. I'm just now getting to a hundred bucks over on Lyft. This little eleven dollar one right here will put me at like one ten probably something like that. I mean that's how heinous this shit is. Cause this is what I got on Lyft right now. You know ninety nine dollars on Lyft. And for the fucking week, you know, I've been online for what three hours, one hundred forty four bucks in like three hours. But it took me seven hours of being online and scouting these raggedy motherfuckers to make it. Usually I'm like almost 60 bucks an hour. This, not even 50 bucks an hour, not even. Barely over 40 bucks an hour, barely. And right now Lyft is saying they're making $43 on me right now. They're making 43 on me. After all the shit that was paid and everything like that, they're making $43 on me. I believe it because they've been fucking cheating the shit out of the system. They've been sitting there taking all the fucking fares. No one ain't been giving us shit trips and everything. So of course they're making $43 on me. I'm surprised they ain't making more. Shit, if I'd have been taking airport rides, I guarantee they'd be up a couple of hundred bucks on me by now with all the shit they've been offering. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Lyft, like I said, they, and, and they giving $2 trips, $3 trips, shit like that. Little bullshit trips. So, of course, they're up $43 on me. Up $43. I don't mind them making money. They could be up $43 on me, but at least let me be sitting at like $200 by now. I don't give a fuck that you made $43. At least let me be at $200 for a fucking weekend. I mean, it's sad to say, hey, I need 200 for a weekend, for a holiday weekend. Usually we making six, 700 on a holiday weekend. And I'm like, this shit's fucking crazy. This is crazy. But it's like, man, that's why I didn't even want to record that shit. I was like, man, this shit's getting horrible. It's getting fucking horrible right now. But I guarantee they motherfucking financials are they're either fudging their fucking books, stealing fucking tips and spares, or they lying on their financials, one of the two. Whatever they're doing is corrupt. I already know that shit. They're not a straight up fucking company. They don't straight up deal with you. They're corrupt as shit, and everybody knows it. So we're at a point where, you know, we got to come out and, and start fucking grinding these fucking trips out, doing the shit we got to do. With Lip, I'm probably done with them for the night because they're throwing out some bullshit right now. They're charging people surge pricing in every area I'm in. They're charging people surge pricing, but they're not paying us surge fares. They're giving us fares that are just like fucking base goddamn fares. But people are paying surge pricing. They're paying $24 for these trips. And we're getting like $9. Shit like that. It's crazy shit. Crazy shit.
So I'm like, yeah, man, I'm not, we're going to be done dealing with Lyft after a while. Because the shit they pulling, even with Uber, with the shit they pulling, it's time to start doing private rides. Yeah, they're trying to give me $14 for nine miles. No, let's not do that one. Let's try something a little different than that. We got some good surge out. Let's do some short trips for good surge. Let's do that. Because right now they're trying to pull some shady shit. They was trying to send me a ride with no surge on it as I was dropping these girls off. I knew it was going to be some shady shit. That's about $2 a mile right there. All right, let's accept that. Do that one, 1073. Now, these are the rides that we normally get to see right here. Real short trips, you know, double digits. All weekend, we ain't been seeing that shit. All weekend, we've been seeing like actually worse, way worse than that. So finally, we're getting some trips that's worth fucking, you know, really contemplating on taking and shit. This man, it's been the worst fucking weekend. Saturday night, it's two o'clock in the morning. They're finally got the algorithm looking like normal again. Because it wasn't like this at first. It was not like this. I'm just like, man, this shit is garbage, straight garbage. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Let's make some money now. Shit. Took you motherfuckers three days to get the algorithm right. Three days, we ain't made no money. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we ain't make no money. Now it's finally early Sunday morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. They want to start paying us. These raggedy motherfuckers, I swear. Going on Paw Patrol real quick because they was pulling some funny shit. So they kept throwing me all these rides and throwing me all these rides. And I was wondering, why y'all throwing me rides? I'm in a $1.50 surge right now. So I'm in a $1.50 surge, but right just south of me is $9.50. They didn't want me to go offline and see that that surge was sitting down there. Now, it's past the 10, so I don't even know if I really want to go down there and get it. I probably don't even want to fuck with it. But it's the fact that, you know, and I think, what? Well, yeah, those are the two trips. I just did the one quick one and now that one. But yeah, like I said, now they got a $4 surge I'm sitting on now, but they had the 9 one right down there. So they were like, oh, don't let his ass offline. Keep him online. Keep him online. I kept kicking that shit out like, nope, you're not getting me, motherfucker. You're not getting me. So let me go back over to the UberX side and see what kind of shit they're going to send down a pipe. Because I'm not going to go for that 950. I just knew they was doing something screwy. $12 for 10 miles? No, I'm cool. And that's UberX shared anyways. I don't want that. Nope, nope. They doing anything they can to not pay me. That's what it is. They're putting shit on UberX share, trying to give me $1.50 fucking surge. That $18 for 12 miles. Going all the way to Scottsdale. Nope, not doing that either. Anything they can do to, to keep from paying me money. $14 for five miles. That's almost $3 a mile. Let's take that. All right. Wait a minute. I can just turn on this next street and go pick up Giselle. All right. Hopefully, like I said, we gonna, we doing some real quick calculations right now. And these motherfuckers, they ain't been paying like this all weekend. They're finally starting to look like they want to pay some money now. So I'm, I'm taking it while I can. Fuck that shit. And these motherfuckers, like I said, I might not even work Sunday. Because I know they usually have like crappy Sundays. A lot of people going to be going to the airport and stuff like that. I will not be at the airport with this car taking five and six suitcases. You know, can't even fit in my car because I don't got the trunk space. Now, I am not working on Sunday. Forget that. It's going to be all airport rides. There's Uber with the fuckery now. Here's the pickup. There's the person over there. The shit's on Lyft and Uber. I don't know what the fuck it is with people that don't know where their pickup is. Like, I have no idea what the fuck is wrong with people. Like, they so used to fucking social media and been told what to do. They can't look at a fucking navigation app and know, hey, man, I'm south of my pickup. I need to get to my pickup. That's where my pickup is, so that's where the car is going to be. I swear, boy, motherfuckers irritate me with this shit. Like, I'm about to cancel this motherfucker, I swear. This is the third one tonight. Third one. And they're, like, nowhere close to the fucking pickup, but they keep setting these pickups and being nowhere close to it. Fucking irritates the shit out of me, man, I swear. If this light turned fucking green and these motherfuckers ain't starting to walk, I'm canceling this motherfucker. Oh, light turned green. Fuck them. It's like, light turned green. I ain't got time for this shit. Let me see some. Cancel trip. Fuck it. I'm out. I'm not, I don't fucking play tonight. I'm not dealing with this shit tonight. Get to your motherfucking pickup or don't bother me. One or the other one. Nope, not doing that pickup either. It's too fucking close. Nope, too close. Let's see. Let's see if I can get over. If I can scoot over this way. All right. So I'm right down the street from him right now, Dahlia. So if I scoot over here and she ain't here, I'm gonna cancel this motherfucker too and keep it moving. So I ain't got time for this shit tonight, man. I'm just I don't feel like being fucking bothered with these lazy eye motherfuckers that can't look look at the goddamn map and be like, hey, that's where our pickup is. We need to get to where our pickup is. Nope. If you ain't there, motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Fucking cancel and go. Fucking get you another ride. Fuck with them. Don't fuck with me. 
Get your shit set up right next time. It's like I'm, I'm done playing with these fucking people, man. Real shit. Done fucking playing with them. Thank you, Miss Nate Yelly. You gave me a five dollar tip. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go open it up and see. See, let's do it like this. Boop. There we go. Thank you so much, Miss Nate Yelly. You were all right, little lady. You were all right. Hope I run into you again one day. They were funny, funny. And she was a media manager for a company she works for. So she deals with all the the, the social media aspect, the marketing, the advertisement. So we had a good little chat. She was pretty cool. Good energy, lady. Real good energy. So I've made, what, 42 bucks over here, shit, and over on the other side, I was talking about Jeeps and everything, and she was like, no, I want a Bronco, her friend wants a Bronco, not a Jeep. I said, same difference, she's like, no, it's not the same difference, I was like, you're right, because I prefer Jeeps over Broncos, but what if, then I made 99 over here, so I'm about, about $140 right now, 150 bucks, so I got 44 over here, let's go online, because they got Surge on Lyft, so let's see what Lyft is going to do, because right now, Uber don't have no Surge, Uber is dead right now, damn it. Where's Uber? Uber's dead right now. Yep, there's no surge. I got 42 bucks over there. Talk about 140 bucks total. Let's see what they're talking about on the left side. $11 for 11 miles. No, doubt it. They're trying to get me to go from downtown all the way back to, and this is with surge, all the way back to Tempe. See, now I would do that one. I would, but I'm like, eh, I don't quite want to do that right now. I, I think I can do some shorter trips right now. Get some short trips out the way. Kind of stack a little money up under my belt while I'm down here before I go. Because everybody's doing short trips. Nope, we're not doing that, definitely. See, that they're trying to throw everything over 10 miles at me right now. They're throwing everything over 10 miles at me to see what I'll take to get out of this region. See, that's, you know, just about 10 miles right there. $13 for like nine miles. They're trying to get me to go out of here. They're like, get him out of the region, man. Get him out of the region. There we go. $11 for about eight miles. Nine miles right there, so... Nope, we're not doing those. We're not doing those. I'm staying right down in this region. I know you got some short hops. Look at that. $10 for about seven miles. Nah, we're not going way up grand. Not going up grand right now. Because they'll do whatever it takes to get you out of this region. $12 for about 11 miles almost. Nope. And Uber was different. Uber was giving me all short trips. They were giving me everything like three miles, four miles, everything. Lyft turned around and gave me everything as long because they can make, Lyft thinks they can make more money off of long trips. Like $10 for about five miles right there. No, nah, because I'm not hitting the highway. I'm not going up that way. Nope, that's up the highway. I'm not hitting the highway. So give me something that's short down in here. I just want to take a couple of streets and then return back to make some more money. $20 for like 20 miles. No, nah, we're cool on that shit. Nope, nope. Like I said, this is what Lyft does. They trying to do anything in their power to get you to take these nature hikes. $11 for about seven miles. <clears throat> no, we're not doing that either. Like I said, I'm right in the area. They can, they got a car right here if they want to use it, but they, they acting stupid right now. They're doing this dumb shit. I'm like, come on, man. If y'all want to use the car, let's use it. Let's get this shit on. But nope, they want to play the game. And you know me, I decline all day. Decline and recline all day. Shit. So here we are. $13 for about seven miles almost. Mm, nah, we're not going to do that either. I said, Lyft, they're, try they're really trying me right now. $13 for about seven miles again. Nope, we're not doing that one either. Well, I'm going to go sit at this Circle K right here. I'm going to sit here and kind of chill for a while while they keep throwing me some shit trips. So I'm like, nope. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Let me cruise around this way right here. Screw. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I said, I know they're going to try to throw me some dumb shit in a minute. They just threw me everything possible that they could throw. I'm sitting on a 650 right now. So let's go back inside of Uber real quick. Uber has nothing jumping right now. Let's go on UberX. I bet they're going to throw something real garbage right off the bat. What do you got, UberX? What do you got? It's 2.40 in the morning. Let me look at my reservations. $24 to go to El Mirage? Hell no. My reservations don't start until what time? Don't want that one. 15 at 5.45. All right, 5.45 it starts. Let's go into Scott Harper for $13. No, six bucks. They're trying to give me like five or six bucks for that. No, I'm cool. What is Uber talking about? $7.35 for that? No, we're not. 
Let's turn Uber off real quick. Because they're going to start sending me some dumb shit. I already know what Uber's about to do. All right, $15 for 12 miles. Nah, I'm cool. And see, this is with a 625 bonus. So I'm still sitting on a 625 bonus looking for a short trip. So I'm like $10, $12, maybe for like three, four miles. That's all I'm looking for. But they keep throwing me all these fucking nature hikes because they like, oh, we can make money off of him. Keep throwing them nature hikes. Keep throwing them nature hikes. Because if you look at the weekly breakdown, is he $16 for 14 miles? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Let's look at the weekly breakdown. They don't want me to see the weekly breakdown. Oh, nope, not doing it. Now with a 625 bonus on it, we're not doing that. I'm just going to sit here and chill. They're not going to let me look at the weekly shit. Because every time I try to hit on it, they keep moving the fucking screen. Watch. But I try to go through and look at it. All right. Nope, $18 for 14 miles. Nope. Every time I try to go through and look at it, they're going to fuck up the screen. Watch this shit. See, they made $43 off of me so far. $186 in passenger payments. Out of the $186, I've only made, total for the week, what, $120 out of that. Then they gave me tips and everything. Then $22 for the fee. So they made $43 off of me so far. Should have made more than $120 because I'm only at $144 in three, three and a half hours. So they killing me right now on time. My tips are horrible, $23. Three hours of driving, I made $23 in tips. Horrible shit, horrible. Should have been way better than this. Mm, they just tried to send me that one, 11.38 for that. I don't want that either. 11.38 for about six miles, I don't want that. Now I'm down to a $6 bonus right now. They keep dropping the money. They keep going lower and lower. And I keep saying, nope, nope. I know a lot of people are like, just take the trip, man. Just take the damn trip. Nope. $16 for 12 miles. That's 13 miles up the road. Nope. Not doing it. It's with a $6 bonus. Yeah, we're good on that shit. They're going to be down into the fives pretty soon. Once they drop into the fives, I'll probably turn the app off here to the house. Because like I said, I don't, I'm not driving for these motherfuckers for cheap. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not doing it. A lot of people be like, oh, just take the money. Take. That's the type of person they look for. You're the type of driver they're looking for. $21 for like 24 miles? Nope. Doubt it. Doubt it. And this car riding around with no headlights on. These motherfuckers, boy. Cops don't even know nothing. $32 for about 37, 38 miles? Nope. We're good on that shit. He said, they're going to keep trying to push me down. $11 for about five miles. They keep doing it. It's the same trip over and over again. $11 for like Five, six miles. No. Keep doing the same trip. And I keep rejecting it every single time. I'm trying to see what else they got coming down the pipe. They got a $9 trip over there. $13 for like nine miles, almost 10 miles. Nope. They won't give me nothing short that's downtown. All the short rides are still jumping right now. Like people are trying to do short rides to get to and from the houses and shit like that. But they're not giving me none of those rides. Like, bro. So yeah, dude was like, nice car, bro. <laughs> but yeah, they're not trying to give me shit short right now. So I'm like, come on, come on, motherfucker, come on. Because I could swing back down by like the little party district area because it's 2.45 in the morning. So not a lot of people are probably trying to get rides right now. You want private rides for Uber? I mean, my uh, reservation for Uber is not until 5.45 in the morning. So I got another three hours for that shit to take off. And I've got 42 over here, 42. Then you add that 20 to make it 62. See, every time you fuck with Uber, they start trying to send you shit. $13 for like seven miles. Nope, we're not doing it. And it's down to a $5 bonus right now. So they keep lowering the bonuses, lowering their chance of getting the fucking ride taken. And so that'll be $20 on that three mile trip because that'll be three miles from my house over to the airport. So that's pretty easy. I'm like easy 20 bucks. So I'll take that at 545 in the morning. But then that's the only trip I have on them. So they'll take me from 42 to about 62, $63 over on this side, 99 about, that'll be about $150 made on the night, about 150 made on the night. Uh, nope, I'm not going north either. 
Yeah, about one fifty made on the night. That was thirteen dollars for about eleven miles. Now they got me down to what five dollars. They keep taking money away from me. The more they take away from me, the less chance they're gonna have of me taking a ride. That's just what it is. I should be at ten dollars a ride right now. I should be at one hundred twenty dollars on Lyft. I should be at one twenty. But the fact that they're taking all this money and they're giving us shit rides right now, not even two dollars a mile with surge and everything added. They're they're tanking these fucking fares just so they can turn around and say, hey, we're gonna tank the fare, but we're gonna actually give you money. We're back up to six fifty again. All right. Let's see what we got. We're back up to six fifty. Ah, this belt is cutting into me right now. All right. We're up to six fifty. Let's see what they give me with this six fifty. Give me three, four miles. Give me something small. Three, four miles. Like they keep trying to give me like 10 miles and shit like that. That's not going to work. Let's go back in Uber. Where we at? Damn, $12 down there. Ooh, if they give me something south. If they give me something south, I might take it. No, not that. $24 for like 30 miles? No, no. So let's look on Uber to see where they can send me. So they can send me down on Broadway and 143 they, that's over by 24th street they can send me south if they want to nope i'm not going north 16 dollars for about 12 miles i mean we got all this surge sitting down south on 7th avenue you know broadway southern all those good hits down there 11 dollars up just south of the airport 10 dollars just south of the airport and like i said i'm just right here so i can shoot straight down the road and pick up this 12 dollars right there it ain't that far from it. That's probably about two, three miles away. Let's see, it's gonna send me south. No, oh, that's 44th Ave. That's way too far out. That's way too far out. 44th Avenue is not even in the fucking vicinity of what I'm trying to do. Because that right there, this $12 is 7th Ave. 44th Avenue is way over here. This is 43rd Ave right here. This is 43rd Ave. And this is where they're trying to send me. I'm just trying to be over here on like 7th Ave. 44th Ave is way on the other side. I'm not trying to go that far south. So if they send me something in the 7th Ave area, Broadway area, anything over to Southern, Rosier, any of these areas, I'll do it. I mean, I could drop down right now and start heading down 7th Ave to pick up that $12. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's go on Paw Patrol real quick. Let's see something. I'm gonna see if that shit stays there if I go on Paw Patrol. Went up to 13. All right. Let's fucking roll. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. We're gonna see if we can get over there and pick this shit up. The lifts gonna send me some shit, but right now I'm not I'm not really fucking with lift right now. They're gonna try to send me something on the way, guaranteed. And I'm gonna be like, nope. You could have had a chance. Could have had a chance. But you've been sitting here studying long and studying wrong. So I'm gonna go try to drop down and get this $13 real quick on Paw Patrol. And then it'll be probably my last Uber of the night right there. If I can get that $13, that'll be my last Uber. I still got the 12 over there on, uh, I mean the 650 over on um, Lyft. So now that I got the 650 on Lyft over here, I got the 650 sitting over here, it's all good. Cause that that to me is, is you know, Harriet Tubman money right there. That's Harriet Tubman's money. That's how I'm gonna get Harriet Tubman out of jail. I'm bailing her out with that 650. <laughs> yeah, so I had to save my Harriet Tubman money because they're trying to get make me get rid of it, and I'm not trying to get rid of it. I'm trying to go south to go pick up this other shit down here. What they got me going? Nah, twelve dollars for six miles? Nah. I mean, they had a chance to use me earlier. I don't know what the fuck they was waiting on. They they sitting there putzing around. $13 just south of me, so I'm gonna shoot down here, pick up this 13 on Paw Patrol. But of course, I'm sending a red light right now because that's what these motherfuckers do. I got one, two, three, four red lights to hit before I even get to the fucking bridge. Where that dark line is, I got four red lights in front of me right now. So, guarantee that 13 is strategically placed south of downtown whenever they know all the drivers are downtown and it's nothing but fucking red lights to get out of here. They knew what they fucking doing. They're like, hey, put that 13 right at the base of downtown. Where all the motherfucking red lights are. It's gonna take their ass 30 fucking minutes to go through four lights. <laughs> oh, these motherfuckers. Oh, no. This is fucking crazy. Crazy. Like I said, these motherfuckers, they know how they be placing these lights. They not stupid. They know exactly what they doing. Now we got the green. 
All right, this one's green, that one's green, that one's green, that one's red. All right, let's go. Now that one's yellow, this one's green. Fuck, I ain't never gonna make it down there, ever. I ain't never gonna fucking make it to this $13, I'm telling you. I made it through one red light, I got two more to go. Well, I made it through the first one, the second one. Now I got two more to go. Then I'm at the bridge. This is how long it's fucking taking me just to get to the fucking bridge right now. I'm telling you, they strategically place these motherfucking lights in areas where they know you're going to have a hard time getting to. If I didn't have this fucking car in front of me right now, I'd run this motherfucker. I'd just run it. Damn, $18 for like 18 miles. All right, so I'm going over the bridge right now. Over the bridge perfect perfect i'm not at the dark line yet so the dark line is must be the highway that's what that is but i'm going over the bridge right now so i gotta pass the fucking highway down here to get there so once i pass the bridge then i'll be able to go but right now this is just the highway all right seventh half here we go seventh half I swear they're going to take that fucking $13 away before I get there. Because it took me so long just to get out of fucking downtown. I had to make it across the bridge. And now I'm pulling up to another fucking red light right now. This is another one I'm coming up behind. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. It ain't no motherfucking cars out here. I got this car in front of me. That's the only problem. This car sitting in front of me. If this car wasn't in front of me, I'd be done ran all these motherfuckers. You're like, man, man, man. And they, like I said... These motherfuckers, they know how to strategically place all these surges on just outside of fucking lights and everything. Now, watch by the time I make it there, the shit probably dropped to two dollars and fifty cent. I got to get from behind this fucking car in front of me is what I need to do. Because this car in front of me is, is just holding me back. But we're on a we got like too narrow of traffic up here. I can't do nothing right now. What did I tell you? Shit's gone. I would have been there if not for all them fucking lights. I would have fucking been there already. Man, fuck that shit. I'm done with Uber now. Done. All right, let's go back over to the left. Let's see what the fuck they got. I still got my 650 at least. Man, I would have been at the fucking... I would have already been there a long fucking time ago. Pulling up to another light. God damn, what the fuck, man? It's like there's lights every fucking five goddamn feet in this goddamn city. Like, geez. When all the surge is downtown behind me right now, still got my 650. I'm gonna go up here and sit somewhere and kind of kick back. And I guarantee they're gonna probably try to give me a fucking ride in this area somewhere. Just because. They're like, hey, give them a ride over here. Yeah, exactly. I could have stayed downtown and got a fucking ride at this point. Shit. Like I said, and there ain't even shit down here. There's nothing down here. They just had the surge sitting here to get drivers to come down this way, that's all. So it was like, fuck it. Hopefully Lip will throw me something down here. Like I said, this ain't number like warehouses and shit like that. I just passed the fucking freeway. Let me open up Uber again. Because usually if I open up Uber, they're going to give me a fucking ride. But. See, this is right here. This is the area where the surge was right about here. Just a little bit south of here. There ain't nothing out here but desert right now. So if I'm gonna throw that surge up on a desert, is there's nothing over here. Let's see what the fuck these motherfuckers talking about. $17 for 16 miles. Yep, there's other drivers sitting over here. Other drivers getting the surge. Yep. I just saw three cars sitting on the side of the road. They all got that fucking surge. All of them got it. All of them got the fucking surge. Smart motherfuckers, boy. They got it. I'm glad three motherfuckers got it. They all got that $13. Somebody got it. Shit. These motherfuckers got me. All of them drivers happy as a motherfucker. They're like, dude, we actually hit that shit. Fuck yeah, we hit it. I was being held up by lights. I swear, if not for this fucking car that was in front of me, I would have fucking killed it. I would have got, man, I would have been running lights like a motherfucker. Got that goddamn surge. But nope. I didn't get it. That shit wasn't for me. Wasn't for me. So I just live just south of the airport, and that's where the airport is right there. So I'm about to head to my fucking house now. I'm going to take this lift fucking trip, and I'm going to take this lift surge back towards my house. 
Hopefully I get a ride. If I don't, it's cool. I was ready to go home any fucking ways. So I just want to see if I can get that $13. But now I'm headed close back to where I'm at. See what kind of trips Lyft starts sending me. Because like I said, it's dead down in this area. There's nothing down here. So I don't see why they even put a $13 surge down here. There's absolutely nothing here. Nothing. Construction, that's about it. So I'm glad those drivers got that shit. I'm about to turn fucking Lyft, uh, Uber off because Uber ain't got shit going any fucking ways and just sit at the house and wait till Lyft send me something. I got that five something in the morning uh, reservation with Uber. So I'll do that reservation, but that's it. I think I'm done driving Uber for the night. I've done all I could do. They're like, Jeff, come back downtown. Doubt it. Y'all could have used me while I was down there. All them short ass trips I could have been doing downtown, we could have been having a field day down there. But nope. They too busy trying to make money off of drivers stealing and shit and, and fucking with our fares all the time. Could have already had that money and been done. But I held on to my lift surge as long as I could, but I had to use it. I just used it right here. And it was on, you know, eight miles for uh, $12. But it was the 650 surge on there. They gave me $5.69 basically to go eight miles. And you may say, why would you even take that, Jeff? They it was they gave you five dollars for eight miles, and then they added a surge on top of that to make it twelve dollars. Why would you take that? I don't know. I don't know. But I tell you, I just follow my energy sometimes, and I'm glad I did it because the lady I just picked up, her name's Leslie. She's a Lyft driver. I just picked up a Lyft driver in the middle of the night. Like I said, I I don't even do trips like that. I usually decline that shit, but something told me to accept it. I was doing an Uber ride and that one came through and I was like, accept it. I don't know why it was not even my math. It was, it was horrible fucking math, but I accepted that trip. It was a lady named Leslie and she was at a Firestone. Cause I'm like Firestone. What the hell is like, ain't no Firestones open at no fucking three, four in the morning. Her car broke down in surprise. We're in Tempe right now in Mesa, Tempe. She had to get her car towed all the way from Surprise all the way here to Mesa because she lives in Mesa, Tempe. She got it towed all the way down here because she had two flat tires on the right side of her car. So she had to fight with that all day. She got Lyft. You know, Lyft played for the first five miles. She paid for all the rest. Anybody who knows where Surprise is, yeah, Surprise compared to Mesa is way the fuck out. So she had to tow her car from all the way out there to all the way here so they can fix her car tomorrow. But she didn't think she was going to get a ride. It's 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. She's outside with a hoodie on. It's cold as hell. She's got her bag. She's been driving Lyft all day. She said, I had my area filter on, but I was getting no rides in this area, so I decided to just go out a little bit, and she ended up in surprise. Look at that shit right there. Yeah. Three miles to go. No, let's not do that. Yeah, so she ended up, let me turn this motherfucker off anyways. So she ended up way out in surprise. She didn't have a ride filter on. And, you know, I usually don't take rides like that. But something told me. The energy was like, accept that ride. I accepted it. Cool lady. Real cool. I gave her my car. Told her, you know, what, what we do on, you know, YouTube. Told her, you know, she could join a podcast. Get on the kind of find out how to find rides. What areas we be in. When we sit downtown following black SUVs and shit. Just wanted to help her out a little bit. So hopefully she does join the page. And, you know, can chop it up with some drivers here in Mesa, Phoenix, and Tempe. Kind of help her out so she don't end up in surprise again. Because y'all know me. I don't end up up there. Hell no. Unless I know it's a concert or something going on up there. But, like I said, it's middle of the night. Middle of the night. Rides like that. I don't even take rides like that. But something told me, accept that ride. Take that ride. And I took it. And, lo and behold, here's a Lyft driver. Broken down car, three in the morning, had to get it towed from way out. You never know. You never. You just got to follow your gut instinct sometimes. You got to follow your gut instinct. And she was a pretty cool lady, you know what I'm saying? Leslie, whatever. Let me go and leave her some good feedback. I'll do awesome. That's her. And she's a driver. So, you know, I, I have to put awesome on her. She's a driver with us, so I had to put awesome on it. Give her a five star. She didn't tip me or nothing like that, but that's cool. She just went through a whole bunch of shit right now. She ain't got to tip me. She just went through a bunch of bullshit with her car. 
The tip is the last thing I would expect from a, a Lyft driver who just had to get their car towed all the fucking way from surprise all the way down here. A ride like that, you know what? I'll eat the math on that one. I'll eat the math. It had a 650 surge. Without the 650 surge, it would have been like, you know, $5.69 to go like eight something miles. The surge made it up to $12. Wasn't quite $2 a mile, but it was just something about that ride at this time of night. Sitting at Firestone. I'm like, let me just take this ride just to see. Dropped off my Uber ride. And this, this is the guy who I was rolling with on Uber. I said, I made 111 on Lyft so far. And I've made nothing. What? No, I'm just kidding. I was 1173 was the last ride I did on lit on uh, Uber or whatever. And that was that ride. I was on that ride dropping him off from Tempe. I was dropping him off when I actually um, got her ride because, like I said, I had it on Lyft. And I was saving that surge for a good ride. Had no idea it was going to be that ride. That was the ride that was going to get me to accept you know, using my surge, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I saved it, because if I didn't have that 650 on there, I wouldn't have went and picked her up. But something told me, go pick her up, go pick her up. So here, this is what I made today. So I made $54, $54 on Uber, with a $5 tip, 54 bucks total. And on Lyft, I made the 111. So I'm at about $164, $165 right now, $165. But I still got my $20 reservation at $545, which is going to probably put me at like about $170, $180. $180. So it's not bad. Not bad. It was a pretty shitty day. It's very slow. I've been out, you know, since 8 o'clock and kind of nitpicking, sitting in parking lots and shit. I went home for a little bit. Like I said, when I couldn't get that $13, I went home and I sat at the house for a second, ate some bugles and shit, hung out with the dogs, and I got back on the road. And that's how I got that ride in Tempe. Got down there, then just picked up Leslie. So shit happens for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens for a reason. I'm, I'm glad I picked her up. I hope her car is okay. I hope they can fix the tires and it doesn't cost a whole lot. But if she joins the channel, like say what's up to everybody, Leslie. Everybody knows your story now. Hopefully everything goes okay. I'm sitting here at a motherfucking Circle K right now thinking, how am I going to get down to these? Because I got to go. I got to go to Tempe anyways. Yeah, I got to be in Tempe about 545. So I can go screw around in these areas right now. See if I can make some money. Let me go online real quick. See if I can get a ride to one of these areas. Because if I can get a ride to one of these areas, I ain't got to use my own gas to go over there. So let's see where they're going to get me. There's a $10 one. Whoops. Hell no, I'm not doing $13 a way to fuck over there. No, no, no. Anything that stays in Tempe or Mesa, I'll do it. Because I got to be around here at 545 anyways. What's this one say? Let's request that match. It's four bucks. That was all. I was just trying to do that. Four bucks is right down the street. Like I said, I ain't going nowhere. It's about $2 a mile. But I'm a 7-Eleven. Pick a motherfucker up real quick. Shit, let's get this shit on. Let's get it on. I'll hit y'all back up in a minute. I'm listening to me some music. I got to stay in Tempe Mesa so I can get my 545 without doing a whole bunch of driving. Hit y'all back. Are you fucking kidding me? Look who I'm picking up, man. <laughs> And crusty dusty <laughs> uber on in the middle of nowhere about to hit a seven dollar surge in a minute let me put it on uber pet so i can go up there and get that motherfucker so now let me go over here to lift turn lift off that was dusty's ride crusty dusty that motherfucker right there boy <laughs> he's funny that dude's like hey I, I was telling him about you know lights and everything else at night and all that shit and he was like well i i think it you know it's it's kind of like lights are kind of like theft, you know, you need crime in order to keep, you know, the economy going because without crime, you know, prices wouldn't be able to go up and people wouldn't be able to get paid more. I was like, OK, man, you kind of backwards, but that's cool. I understand your logic. I see what you're saying. You, you need people to purge the system of shit in order to keep new shit coming to keep prices going up to keep, keep people having jobs in the economy. I see where you're going, Dusty. I see where you're going. I see you, motherfucker. But. I don't know. I'm just not, I don't feel that crime is essential. <laughs> it's like crime should not be essential to the economy, Dusty. Sorry. Come on, man. <laughs> Dude is fucking crazy. That right there was old crusty dusty. Pick fuck up for real. <laughs> I'm gonna go over and get this seven dollars. Dusty kind of got me closer to the seven bucks, so thank you, Dusty. Motherfucking crusty dusty. Appreciate you getting me closer to money. And then I'm and it's with him, you know. 
I only had one red light. So now it's like all green lights. So I think I needed a dusty so I could start catching all the fucking lights. Now that I've had a dusty in a fucking car, life is pretty crusty, motherfucker. So this is what's crazy. I'm sitting at this light. Of course, there's a red light right here. There's $7 right next to me. I'm at a fucking red light right now. I'm like, out of all fucking shit, they know exactly where to strategically place these motherfucking surges before we can actually get there. Man, now I'm going. Let me see if I can get this damn seven bucks. As soon as it hits seven, then I can bounce and fucking turn my shit on. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You really put me on a, a fucking surge next to a damn light and everything. All right, bet. So let's go and see if we can get some money fucking going now. Oh, man. So that was pretty cool. It's probably going to be somebody going to work at Walmart. I could just feel it right now. Somebody's going to be having to go to work at Walmart. I'm going to have to pick them up. Probably $13 for like fucking eight miles. I'm already seeing it. Let's see what we got. Let's see a old crooks. I'm right by Walmart right now. And I'm not too far from my morning appointment. So everything's going to kind of work out. 545 is when it starts something like that. So it ain't going to be too bad. Not too bad. What I say? Eight miles for like twelve or thirteen dollars. Didn't I say that shit? Didn't I just say that shit? So I gotta go pick up Gala. Let me see. Let me make sure this shit's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right. I just have to make sure because I know some of these motherfucking places they'll get your ass stuck up on a reservation. And once you get up on a reservation, your wheel's gonna get dirty as a motherfucker. So let me go pick up Gayla real quick. Probably get her ass to work. That's what it looks like. I bet she probably work at motherfucking Fries too. Guarantee. It was almost five o'clock in the morning and I'm down to 44 miles still empty. But I made pretty good money today. I think I'm gonna clear 200 bucks. So I was just at about a half a tank, ran it down about, you know, a quarter plus an eighth. And I'm still not on empty yet, but I want to fill up because I got one more reservation to go. I'm sitting around the corner for my reservation. Got to get them to the hotel. So I could finish off my night without filling up. But then I wake up tomorrow with an empty tank of gas and I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm sitting at right now. A little over 14 gallons, 59 bucks. Not bad. Let's wrap this up real quick. Ooh, it's kind of chilly out here. Woo, man. Let's see where we sitting as far as how much we got to go till empty. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? 343. I had to hurry up and turn it. I didn't even try to top off. I just jumped in. All right. 343 miles. All right. We back at full again. Let's do it. I just finished with my airport. This is my reservation, 2088. That was at 545. No tip came through yet because you know these raggedy motherfucking apps, they ain't going to give us our tips and shit. So what I did on Uber for the day was I did, you know, the 54 and then I did the 33. So that's about $87 right there. So I did about $87 on Uber, you know, two and two about almost three hours here, almost two hours there, an hour and a half rather, whatever. And it was just a bunch of sitting around chilling and shit. I only did, what, five rides over there and I only did two over here. And my rides were not that amazing. They really were not that fucking amazing. I mean, you know, this 12, 32 for four miles, I was about four miles away from that. So that was really about eight miles for 12, 32. It wasn't really four. This here, I was already in Tempe, so that was pretty good. So I was, it was probably about four miles for the $20. You know, over here, the same thing, 6.7 miles. I was probably about seven miles away. I was right on mill anyways. Same with this one, 1 1.6 miles. I was probably about three miles away for that one. So it was probably close to about $3 a mile. So these weren't amazing trips. They weren't really amazing, amazing trips. And so that was about 87 over on Uber side. So I did the 87 over there. And on Lyft, I did, the, I did a couple of little quick hops. Like this little quick, I was already in Mesa. I had just finished gassing up and everything. I was already in Mesa, so I just went ahead, picked this dude up and took him. It was a real quick hop. I mean, it was like five miles, five bucks, and I was bringing him back towards Tempe because I had to be in Tempe. So that's how I got close to where I was. He was like real close to me, so I shot over, picked him up, brought him to Tempe, and I was right next to my reservation right then. So that was a quick $5 right there. Then I had, from the morning, it was, so that was that five. 
what was that? 515 and then at 124. So it was about close to about $130. So $130 on Lyft. I ran about 130 bucks. I did 15 rides, you know. 130. I started at what time? Probably about eight last night. Let me see what time did I start last night. Yeah, I started around about 7:30. 7:30 is when I started. So 7:30, and I drove till just about five. But I took a lot of breaks in between. I came home and everything. So that was that 100 and you know 24 dollars. Five hours and six minutes online is garbage. That's how much they were doing. We were not getting any rides. No rides at all. So about 130 and 88 put me at about 210 dollars for the night. 210, 215 for the night. But you can see how you know my online hours. Four hours online, 173. So I was running about $40 an hour. $40 an hour is not good. It's not good, really. Not for being a holiday weekend. I should have been running about $60, $70 an hour for a holiday weekend. $40 an hour is a regular week. That's a regular week, not a holiday week. We just had holidays. We should have all been running at least $15, $20 more per hour for every hour we were working. But you can even see Lyft made $47 on me. They made $47 on me. I only worked four hours, $173. They still made $47 on me. Let's go a week back. Let's go a week backwards, $80. They lost 15 on me. So they lost 15 on me. I worked an hour 45. Let's go a week back. I made 227. They lost 30, 39 on me. So they always lose money on me. They always lose money. Let's go a week back again. Let me see. And that was... And this was around the last of the weeks when they were doing it. Okay, out of the 118, they only made $4 on me. They made $4. That was it. And that was during uh, Halloween week and everything like that. So I worked, you know, two and a half hours, 118 bucks. Let's go back a week before that. I think they were having Lux and stuff just ending. They lost 43 on me. So they're usually losing money on me. They're losing 43, making $4, you know, like I said, here four dollars, and you can easily see that just by going and looking at your weekly to see what you can do, and you can pull down losing forty dollars that week, and then last week what well, they lost fifteen. This week, holiday weekend, holiday weekend, they made forty-seven. So they were charging customers a lot. They were charging them so much and barely paying us. Like I said, if I'd have been making at least sixty dollars an hour, this would have been two forty. 240 would have been an extra $70. That would have put them $30 in a hole. About $25, $30 in a hole would have been normal average. So the fact that they were jacking the fares up, customer payments, 224. 224. And if you click on your earnings up here, my ride earnings were $92 on my ride earnings. $92 with my ride earnings. Out of 224 of the passenger was paying, $92 is what I got out of the 224. But then I was getting bonuses like ride bonuses, street bonuses, stuff like that. That's the only thing that made up that $53 to make me have 147 Because if I didn't have any of those bonuses, if I didn't get any ride bonuses, I didn't get any streak bonuses. I don't think I even got any streak bonuses. But I wasn't getting any surges and stuff like that. I would have made $92 when they were charging customers $224. That's more, way more than 50%. The only way I was making money was by using those surges and those bonuses and stuff like that. That's the only way. My earnings on all the rides that they were charged, when they were charged 224, surge pricing and everything else, I only made $92 out of that. The 53 is the surges I was trapping here and there. And you can go look and see where I was trapping surges at. Like you can see like, let me open it up, like ride bonus, $2.50. And that was on that ride right there, $2.50. Because it was, you know, two miles. So I was getting little bonuses like that all the time. And then you see some more ride bonuses. Like down here, I was getting a $6.50 bonus here. Make that 15 on an eight-mile ride. But I had a tip on that too, a $3 tip. But my base earning was $5.69 is what the base was. And so you know these passengers were paying a lot of money. They were paying a lot of money for these trips. I mean, you keep going down. I mean, here's another one, $3 ride bonus, $2.25 ride bonus. What else? Dollar fifty ride bonus. None here. Two dollar ride. And that's the only way I was making money was by keeping those ride bonuses going. Three dollar ride bonus there. Dollar fifty there. And even here, you know, three twenty five, three fifty. These ride bonuses are the only way I was making money because they were charging customers a lot. Had I not had these ride bonuses, I would have made ninety two dollars and they would have made like over a hundred and probably thirty. 
It would have been nuts like that. So like I said, they knew they were they were ripping people off. They were charging a whole lot of money to people and not paying drivers shit. That's basically what it was. You know, I only drove, like I said, not that many hours this week. I only came out, I, I was online for like nine hours, drove for four because I didn't even want to fuck with these holidays because they were ripping people off and I didn't want to mess with them. So over the whole holiday week, whole holiday week and everything, I only drove four hours on Lyft. That was it. And like I said, I scout and I do shit both times. I'm on apps both times at all times. So I don't even look at my online time because I'm always going in between apps back and forth. But I look at my drive time. Four hours, that's garbage for a holiday weekend. I should have drove at least 15 hours this weekend. 15, 20 hours easily for a holiday weekend. I drove four. That's how garbage this shit was.